Over the last several days, I've been listening to different commentary from national news, local news, newspaper print about the presidential debate that we just watched. I've been holding back on giving any commentary on it because people are asking and talking more about former President Trump, President Biden, and they're focusing on that. I'm going to focus on a different part of the presidential debate that I don't think anyone's really talking about. I'm talking about media responsibility. What we saw during the presidential debate was a tragedy. It was sad because it wasn't a debate that we expected to see. It became more about watching current President Biden not performing his best. And there's a lot of different commentaries on what that's all about, why it went down, a cold, maybe cold medicine or other things. But I want to step back from a little bit about that and just talk about as a media professional, as a broadcaster, you have the people running and being moderators for that event. The expectation is they're going to be talking about the issues, staying on the issues, and stay on point for this for the night. As it began to unroll, as things unfolded that night, it became very, very clear to everyone President Biden was having troubles. It wasn't clear. It wasn't sharp. It wasn't consinct. And as it continued to go, the question of those watching and what we heard in the post commentary was, is he all right? And again, the commentary has gone on what that looks like. What does that mean? But I want to go with that question. It was, is he all right? There's a safety. There's a health issue. There's a respect issue that I think we need to explore as media broadcasters. There's an ethical part here. And when you see something like that happen, if you see a child drowning in a pool, do you keep filming and keep commentating or do you drop the camera and jump in and save the drowning children? I've seen video clips of people lighting themselves on fire. Now, the cameraman doesn't run to the fire to put him up. Other people are running as fast as they can to put the man out and save him. I was wondering, as I recall all this, could the Democratic Party, could have Jill Biden, could have one of his handlers, said, could have someone have saved him that going to a producer that night and say, can we go to commercial break? Can we call a timeout here? Because this is not what we expected to see tonight. And it's painful. And we need to check if he's really okay. And do it from a caring sense. Because you want the true debate. You want the true message to come through. They want people at the top of the game on both sides of that. Should the moderators have simply gone to their headset and said, we're going to take a commercial break. And they say, time out everybody during the commercial break and ask the Republicans, ask the Democrats, are you okay with how this is going? Because we're feeling really uncomfortable right now. The Republican Party could have done the same thing. They could have stepped out and say, out of respect for the president, his legacy, and what needs to be talked to to the American people tonight, do you mind if we take a break? Because we want to make sure this is good and proper. I wonder why that didn't happen. I wonder if we are losing our way because we do want to see people burn. We do want to see, as in the Batman movies, the Joker is out there destroying Gotham City. Alfred says the Bruce Wayne. Some people just want to see the world burn. Is that what news has become today? We really want to see people destroy their life, their reputation, or do we have an obligation to step out of being just the observer and make sure people are okay? This was a presidential debate. This is going to impact people's vote. This is going to impact their confidence in their party, in the system, in everything right now, because that's what's being churned out. Should something different have happened that night to at least give recognition behind the scenes? And then after the debate, people could say, look, they were given their option. They did try to respect both parties and the political story that needs to be told that night. And we took a pause and they agreed we want to go on or vice versa. We are stopping this debate because something's not right here tonight. Would that have raised the confidence of the American people that we are watching out for each other? We're caring about it. I mean, even though you have different political views and different ideas, you're still seeing something that you know is not right normal as you would have it play out. 
I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Is this a <clears throat> media ethical question and responsibility to report the news at the best that we can, give you the best information? Is this a responsibility of either or both parties as they've agreed to have this debate? They set down the rules for the debate. Should that be on their responsibility? Or perhaps it does fall on our responsibility, even as American citizens. I wonder if anyone ever called any of the networks. I wonder, I wonder if anyone emailed and say, what the heck's going on? Can you help the poor man? This is hor horrible to watch. I heard many people, both online and in personal conversations, say they couldn't keep watching. They had to turn it off. And they said it wasn't because of the political views. It wasn't because of pro, con, this side or that side. It was because... They didn't want to see what they saw. And there was no life preserver. There was no recognition to stop the pause and check. I threw out the question tonight. I threw out the question. Let me hear your thoughts on this. Is there a media ethical responsibility? Is there a human responsibility in all of this that we're seeing, hearing, and debating with this first presidential debate? Drop me a line, trigger at rockthestagemedia.com. Trigger at rockthestagemedia.com or put it right here in the post. Let's open up our own debate on the debate. And what would you like to have seen the next time? And hopefully there is no.